the seventh overall pick in the MLB draft brought to you by Game Time. Download the, the app, create an account, use promo code Locked in MLB. Uh, the Cincinnati Reds have taken right hand pitcher Rhett Louder out of Wake Forest, uh, considered to have to be one of the top catch pitchers in the draft behind Paul Skeens and someone who really makes it happen with the changeup, which is not always something that you see a lot of college pitchers have a good changeup. And the, the thing here, we talked about this on the mock draft last week. The question that I have, like, he's a good pitcher, and, and I'll give him a lot of credit. That he is a good pitcher. He is probably worthy of a top half of the first round draft pick. My question is, how much development can you expect out of a pitcher from Wake Forest because they have the pitching lab and these guys that they produce are so polished when they get to MLB? It's almost like the opposite of the University of Florida. Florida doesn't yeah. develop their guys. Wake Forest, these guys come out almost as finished products. And so is the choice of Rhett louder? He's going to move fast through the system, it feels yes. like, provided he can adjust to the throwing every five days. But how high is the ceiling for Rhett louder compared to other Wake Forest pitchers we've seen in the past? I think it's lower, uh, but interesting. It's because he's so much safer. Like you look at, at Cusick and Schuster, they threw a little harder, um, had that slider. The one thing with the changeup is it's often most effective – as almost like a platoon pitch uh, at the big league level we see. So it's it's going to be a good weapon sometimes, other times it's not. Uh, I'll throw this out to Reds fans, you know, talking about all-time history of Wake Forest players. Uh, the fourth greatest Wake Forest Major League player by war is Stuart Fairchild, former Reds draft pick and uh, outfielder. So that that program has struggled to produce. Uh, I, I like louder. I have him 11th, but he's just, he's safe. And, he, but unlike, you know, Schuster and Cusack, he has good control. That's one of the things he's got the control. He misses bats on okay. Right. I think he's a three, four, which is not, not what maybe you want to hear when you're picking seventh, but I think he's, he's a three, four. Yeah. I mean, he, he, and let's kind of clear. Like, we, we've talked some stuff. that hasn't sounded great about Red louder. Right. ACC pitcher of the year has a bunch of strikeout records in, in the school, in the conference, uh, fastball sits mid nineties. He doesn't always hold it super deep into the starts. It feels like he gets to low nineties later in the start, uh, slider low eighties. It's good. The changeup is phenomenal. This is the best mm -hmm. changeup in the class to me. I yeah. also think he's got, uh, he has probably the, w some of the best command and control in the class. I don't think he's number one, but he's in that probably top five in this entire draft for command and control. And that is going to help him a little bit as well as the sequencing being, so good. He likes to pitch backwards off the slider and and the changeup can land everything for a strike. And I don't notice any significant platoon splits with Rhett Louder. It feels like he's able to make it work against both lefties and righties. And I think that's a big part of it. Uh, I He's going to move quickly. I don't think we see him pitch this year in the bigs. I, there was a question there in Might the chat. Might not even see him pitch in the minors this year. Yeah, something. These guys that go deeper go to the College World Series. I'd probably have him uh, shut down for the rest of the year, and then you'd see him begin beginning of the year next year. But I do think Rhett Lauder is what this team needed as far as more reinforcements uh, pitching-wise. And you have to think if you can get a little more velocity on him, which, again, that's a question. Even just maintaining the mid-90s velocity deeper into the start, uh, that's probably the key to transcend that number three, number four uh, uh, kind of cutoff there, I think. Yeah, I mean, I think you're probably looking at 2025. Let's be honest. Like, even one year in after drafting is very rare. There aren't a lot of guys who, who make that leap. So he's 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 away, but he is going to, like say, he's safe. He's got command. He's got control. If anything makes a pitcher fail, it's, it's those. So he's got that. You know, he's only 6'2", so he's a bit of an undersized righty. He, what you see is what you get. So he'll, he'll move quickly. He's a good prospect. Um, just another solid arm.